Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here. So today guys, in this Halo 5 Forge creation review, I'm going to be reviewing the Marathon Class Cruiser. Now, obviously this thing quite resembles the Pillar of Autumn. And you know, I had trouble spawning this in because like, it, my game just started lagging all of a sudden and frame rate dropped, you know, and yeah, I've just had a hard time trying to get this in. So it's taken me about five minutes. You know, but yeah, this thing is massive, you know. So basically, yeah, you see what I mean with the lagging? See how that happens? But yeah. So as you can see over there, there are pelicans in the cruiser as well. But the funny thing is, right, that they're not rendered yet. Because this thing is so large and it needs to render so much, it can't render the objects inside of it. But don't worry, as soon as I go close up to it, everything does render in, you know, it just takes a while. So yeah, um, just wait in there, see? Everything does render in. Or maybe it's because of this glass here. Yeah, maybe that's just why. Yeah, it's the glass. But yeah, you see what I mean though? So yeah. Uh, by the way, there is an inside to this, as you can all see right here. This is cool. Uh, you can actually go inside this thing and whoa! I guess there's no colliders there. That's weird, so... It's... Hmm, it's hollow. You can just go through the walls and stuff. So I'm guessing that you can't stand in this thing unless it's, yeah, you can't stand in it. That's weird. But yeah, I don't know why. But it just seems that way. So yeah. And also there's a barrier here. I can't go past. But yeah, this is really confusing right now. So the thing is uh, hollow, I guess? If you know what I mean, like, you can go through the walls. You can't go through this one, though. That's weird, though. Like, in the inside, you know, you can go through the walls and stuff. Hmm. So, yeah, this thing is obviously really big, and I'm really confused right now, you know, because you can go through the walls and stuff, you know, you can't even stand in it, otherwise you'll just fall straight through it. You know, I'm just really confused. I don't know if it's just all glitched out or if it's just like this. But yeah, overall, I really do like this. Now, this would be good as some sort of scenery in a map. But, like, if you're somebody who wants to just, like, play around in it, then, yeah, I don't think you could because it's uncollidable. So you can't stand in it. But yeah. I mean, I guess you would be able to change it. I mean, wait, let me just check the object properties of this. Sorry, it's all glitched out, so whenever I try to select it, the frame rate just drops. Alright. Oh, everything's phased, I guess. I guess it's meant to be like that, though. If I set it to neutral, then that will just stuff everything up, so... I don't want to mess around with anything, okay. Alright. I see. So basically, yeah, I don't want to mess around with anything here, otherwise... Yeah. You know, it's a cool ship, you know, it would have taken quite a long time to make. It took 748 objects to make this. Sorry again about the lag. It's just that this is a massive ship. Look, I didn't even raise it fully out of water, you know. Some of it's still in the water down there, as you can see. So yeah, so overall, this thing is just huge, you know. It really, really does confuse me, the fact that you can't stand in it, you know. But yeah, uh... This is just quite laggy right now. I keep on experiencing frame drops and stuff, you know. But yeah, I really do like this ship, you know. It just gets me really confused, you know what I mean. Really cool ship. I really do like it. Really resembles the uh, the Pillar of Autumn. And that's one of the things why I wanted to review this in the first place. You know, because it really looked like the Pillar of Autumn, you know. That's why I want to review it. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, I don't really have much else to say other than that. This is a really, really cool Marathon class cruiser. It is massive and it really resembles the Pillar of Autumn, like I just said before. And yeah, you know, what really confuses me is the fact that, like, none of the objects render in. As you can see right here, right, through this window, you know, it looks like everything's just, like, plain white. But then when you go through, everything's rendered in. I mean, I don't know what this is. I've never seen this type of glass in the game before. I mean, is it even glass? Yeah, it is glass. It's definitely glass. And look, I can stand on top of this pelican, right? 
You know, it's just that some places on the ground. Look, I can stand here, you know, but can I stand here? Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe there's just some positions where you can't stand it. Maybe it was just lagging before. I don't know. But yeah, here, wait. Oh, I can. All right, then. I guess it was all just lagged out. You know what I mean? So, all right, guys, it turns out that you can actually uh, go in it and run around and stuff. You know, maybe it was just all lagged out before. So, yeah. So, obviously, uh, it's cool how this thing also has an insight into it. The person who made this obviously put a lot of work into it, you know, especially making an inside for it, you know, and that's just really cool how the person who made this has even put in the effort to make the inside of the ship too. Really is cool, you know, uh, it's just all weird, you know, because it was all lagging and stuff, you know, and I was just really confused before. So obviously you can run around in this, you know, I thought it was just like, yeah, it's weird. It's weird how just before I couldn't even run around in it, but now I can. So yeah, but again guys, uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this ma marathon class cruiser. Sorry, I'm kind of troubling my words kind of here, you know. I'm still really confused though, you know. Probably the weirdest Halo 5 Forge creation review I've ever done. Um, but yeah, it's really weird, you know. So anyways, again, thanks for watching, see you all soon, and I'll be making more videos in the near future. I really want to make another Sea of Thieves video, so yeah, um, also I will uh, continue my touring test series, sorry that I only upload those every few months, but yeah, sorry about that. Anyways again guys, see you all soon, bye bye.